welcome to digit in and what you're seeing in front of you is a block of graphene stone and what are we going to do we're going to make some graphene out of we this. are indeed okay so how does this go about tell us a little bit more about graphene its use cases and make some graphene for us <laughs> so graphene is a new material it was only first discovered if you will in 2004 Graphene is a single layer of graphite. Mm -hmm. So graphite is what's in your pencil, is what you write with. Yeah. Gr writing happens with graphite because the layers slide over one, one another. These are big, big stones of graphite. So you can see, if you use a bit of scotch tape, you can put the scotch tape on the stone and peel it off. And you actually end up with graphene mm -hmm. on your piece of sticky paper. So it's as simple as just as simple as that. putting some squash tape on there yeah. and getting it off. But yeah. obviously scaling that up is yes. a big challenge. So, exactly, uh, so exactly. where is the industry at in terms of scaling up graphene production? And you know, we, we've been hearing about use cases like uh, batteries, uh, smartphone batteries mm -hmm. powered by graphene. There are multiple other use cases in this booth itself. But we're still a while away from graphene actually used in commercial. Uh, ah, elements. well, uh, interestingly enough, uh -huh. here on the booth you have some great examples of how you can actually scale up graphene production. This okay. company, Talga, mm -hmm. has a mine in Sweden, mm -hmm. which they mine this stone and actually just turn it into this graphene liquid. Okay. This liquid then can be turned into commercial products. Mm -hmm. We have some on the booth today, such as the earphones, mm -hmm. which um, have a thin, flexible, graphene membrane which give you better sound quality mm -hmm. so there are products on the market now that have graphene there's a motorcycle helmet mm -hmm. with a graphene coating that disperses heat better so gives you a better user experience when you wear it and also makes it safer because you don't get any hot spots from the sun okay interesting but you know these cases use cases are still far and few and uh, what do you think are some of the roadblocks in terms of uh, the usage of graphene more widely in products so graphene is still so very new. Mm -hmm. It oh well, since 2004 really people have been working on it. So the graphene flagship has only been around since oh well for the last five years. So graphene is still a new material, and it's still being developed into the products. So I don't think there are roadblocks as such. We just have to do the good quality research and development to make sure that we get good quality products out onto the market. Okay, thank you so much for yeah, no this problem. quick demo of how graphene is made. Uh, thank you for joining guys and for more such videos, stay tuned to digit.in, our YouTube channel and our Instagram channel and hit us up with any questions that you have regarding graphene. Thank you for joining. Thank you.